This is my other hat. Where can I get a Bible? That was a question asked by Ishwari Prasad. He was a, in, lived in Fiji and <coughs> he, had, he was a Hindu and married with three kids and things weren't going well for him at all. He turned to drinking, his family was coming apart, and he had to go on a business trip with his boss, who was a Korean-born Christian. And they were in the hotel, and the boss called him from another room and says, Is there a Bible in your room? <coughs> he said, yeah, there is. And he lied to him, told him he'd, read, he'd been reading it. But he began to think, how did his boss know that there was a Bible in his room? How did he know that? So he felt intrigued by that, and he was drawn to read the Bible. He started reading that Bible. And the Holy Spirit came to work in his life. He returned to work and he asked his co workers, Where can I get a Bible? He didn't take the one that was in the room. But it could have, you know, they were there for the taking. <coughs> These co-workers were all Hindus, pretty much not all of them, but most of them were Hindus, and so they didn't know a way to get one. A couple of days later, a Christian co-worker brought him a little testament that his daughter had received. One like this, with candy on it. <laughs> a little testament. <laughs> And he took that little testament and he read it, and his eye fell upon Matthew 18, verse 8. And if your hand or foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. Uh, and God used that verse to bring him to Jesus as his personal Lord and Savior. He accepted him, and soon after that, his family also came to know Jesus as personal Lord and Savior. And today, Ishwari serves as a national field coordinator for the Gideons International in Fiji. So God changes us when we go to his word and follow it. Well, we are, as I said, we're Gideons. Who are Gideons? What are they? Well, we started in 1899 about three guys getting together, three traveling salesmen. You heard the story about the three, tra three salesmen. Well, this is a different story. <laughs> they came together and they started a Bible study for traveling people. And then they started giving away Bibles. But it was eight or ten years later when they started. But to date, there have been 2.38 billion Bibles given. 2.38 billion Bibles. We are Christian businessmen or professional people. That's where, where we identify. And, and, we, and our wives are part of us, should they choose to be as well. They're called the auxiliary. And we're dedicated to telling people about Jesus through personal witnessing and through Bible distributions. We distribute Bibles in prisons, 
hospitals, doctors' offices, um, schools, um, and just one-on-one -on, -one on the street. We go to like USF. We go up there and we'll stand. We have certain rules, but we stand where they said we can stand, do what we can do, and we give out these little personal testaments. And many people come to know Jesus just from what they've read here. Today, there's 167,000 Gideons worldwide. We're in 207 countries, in 107 languages, <coughs> and there was three. I'm sorry, there were 68.3 million Bibles distributed worldwide this past year. named David Lancaster from Raleigh, North Carolina, was having problems with his update on his um, software that he was trying to uh, update on his computer, and he called for technical support. And guess where he ended up? He ended up in the Philippines with a technical support person. And while the thing was downloading his change that he needed to put in his computer, he spoke to the person at the other end who's called Faith. And he, he told her that, you know, Philippines is one of my favorite, most favorite countries. And she said, why? He said, well, in 2011, 23 Gideon men and nine, uh, from nine different countries met with Filipino Gideon, Gideons to hand out 1.6 million scriptures in a period of two weeks, which is a history for the Gideons in giving that many scriptures out in that short a period of time. And she, her reply was, Wow, I was in college at that time, and I got one of those scriptures. And I, <laughs> it changed my life. It changed my life. It's nothing like handing out a scripture, folks, and somebody's life gets changed. Jesus is the answer to all of our problems. And the answer is in this little love book that we give out. And that's what he did. He gave it out. But he then mentioned to her that, you know what? We have another thing that we're doing now. It's called the little Gideon Bible app. This little card will, is just a way of getting in, but you can do it just by going on the internet, going into the apps. You're, play apps or whatever they call those things and, and type in Gideon Bible Gideon.bible.is and you can download an app that'll have your Bible on it. It'll be come out in uh, vocal if you want it. It'll be able to come in, in voice or it will even um, play a over a thousand different languages. Wow! It, it, if, if you have a, someone that can't speak English, you give them this app. They can, go and they can read and hear the Bible in their language. How great is that? It's effective. Anyway, that tells us that that's another thing that we provide is a, this app. My brains fell on the floor. <laughs> 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 
Mike Cook from Fort Myers, Florida said, I went to the doctor one day and it sounds pretty normal, right? Go to the doctor. Anybody here go to the doctor? All right, okay. He says, the problem is I was divorced, I was addicted to drugs and alcohol, and I was broken and in need. And while I was waiting in the waiting room, there was a bookshelf there, and on that bookshelf were Gideon Bible. It was a Gideon Bible. He said, I grabbed it off the bookshelf. He said, I just felt like God was calling me to that book. He grabbed it off and started reading in the front. Now, in the front of this little book, there's a, and in the front of every Bible, there's a help in times of need. He opened it up and he found what his need was and he found what the scriptures were and he read them. And then he put the book back. He said, I, I, I wanted that book. I wanted it bad. I couldn't take it. What a laudable person. He couldn't take that Bible. So he said, I decided to leave without it. But the longing never left him. So he researched and found a Gideon camp in close to him. And he called the Gideon camp. And he told them the story. And he thought they would laugh at him. And you know what the Gideon at the other end of the line said? Go back to the doctor's office and take that book. It's for you. That book is yours. We will replace it. And that's what we do. We replace Bibles in hospitals. We replace them in in uh, hotels. You know, people come, they take them, and they they do what they do with them. But God's word never returns void. Isaiah fifty five eleven tells us that, and it's so true. God's word never returns void, and it, it's just a blessing that way. Well, how can how can we help the Gideons? I say we because I'm a part of this fellowship too. Um, contributions is the way we raise money to buy those Bibles that we send to people around the world and deliver to people around the world. Each distribution, they're not sent in bulk to somebody to just lay around and do something. They are sent. Many countries, we brought out of money to send them because they can't afford to buy them. The Gideons in the countries buy the Bibles and they can't afford it. The Bibles are like a buck twenty apiece. So buck twenty, would you want your neighbor or your friend or your someone you've never met saved by just having spent a dollar twenty? You know, it's a dollar twenty. You can't even buy a cup of ice cream for a dollar twenty. And so that's what we do though. We we and that's what this purpose of us is to update you on what the Gideons are doing and how you can be a part of it. Because we as Gideons are partners with this church. And we're partners with any and all evangelical evangelical Evangel well, whatever the word is, evangelical churches, and, and those who are born-again believers. That's who we are part of. We're partners with them. We pray for you, Pastor, if we We pray for other pastors in our organization, in our group that we serve. So we, we, have, uh, we have some needs to have funds. The Gideons, we pay for our own Bibles. This, this little Bible that I hand out personally, a personal track it's called. When I hand out personally, like at Walmart or someplace, I bought that one. I'm glad to do it. Because I'm, I just thank God that somebody will have an opportunity to find Jesus. But when we go out and mass just distribute, like up at the USF or over at this seafood festival or whatever it might be. Those 
are provided by Indians International. Now that comes from the receipts of monies that have been collected throughout the organization. The Bibles that are purchased for the other countries. Most countries are third world countries, 200 countries. How many countries can you name? You see? And so some of them are small, not prosperous yet countries, but they have a few Guineans have committed to delivering these bottles and distribute as much as money will allow. And so that's what we, what we do. We also are constantly looking for people who are seeking an opportunity to be like we are and serve him this way. I didn't become a Gideon to join some club. I came to be a part of God's work. And this, this is one way that you can do that. Well, thank you, church, for allowing me to be a part of the well, I'm part of the church anyway, so I thank you, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but, but thank you for allowing me to come up and take a few moments and just share with, with you what the Williams are doing. And uh, I solicit the prayers for our organization. I solicit your financial support. I solicit people who might have an interest in doing some of the things that Gideons do. Not all of us will stand up and speak, but most of us will hand out Bibles. Handing out Bibles is a big thing. But then as you hand them out, you'll find that you want to do more than just hand them out. You want to talk to the people that are getting them. And that's a, that's a beautiful thing. Thank you again for giving me this opportunity, and God bless you all.